Category 2 storm expected to become a major hurricane later today. Probably will strengthen to a Category 3 sometime on your Thursday afternoon, then eventually get to Cat 4 and then maybe Cat 5 status going into the weekend. We also have Tropical Depression 14, which has just developed in the eastern Atlantic Ocean off the west coast of Africa. That might strengthen, but it's going to stay out in the open ocean. Good news there. But we, all of our eyes, of course, on Hurricane Lee because it'll probably be the strongest storm of the season that we've seen so far and that we've seen in quite some time because it's expected to go under rapid intensification and it's really going to become a powerful powerful storm heading into the upcoming weekend. So right now this is what it looks like. It is getting a better structure to it, a better look to it, more well-defined eye starting to pop up on our infrared satellite here. Winds right now at 105 miles per hour, gusts at 125 miles per hour, moving to the west and northwest at 15 miles per hour. So yes, it is going to intensify to a major hurricane status today and then continue to strengthen to a cat five this weekend. The good news is it's going to stay north of the Caribbean islands. All of the major impacts associated with Hurricane Lee will stay away and avoid the Caribbean. It will avoid the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola going into the weekend. Now, the Caribbean islands can see some larger swells from this. That would probably be the extent of the threats now. Still keep a close eye on it if you live in the Caribbean this weekend. But the good news is this should stay to the north. Now, as we go into next week, things kind of get a little bit tricky. It's steering currents basically change hands. So it is going to slow down early next week. Right now it's getting guided around an area of high pressure in the Atlantic Ocean. Then we get into the middle of next week. A trough comes off the eastern seaboard. That will help direct it northward and northeastward heading into next weekend. So we have a long time to watch this. And of course, models that far out become a little bit less reliable. So we're really going to have to hone in on where this goes. If you live along the eastern United States, even into the Canadian Maritimes heading into next week. Same goes for Bermuda. We'll be watching where this thing goes. This is the European model. Just one scenario here. It is slowing down early next week and then eventually gets kicked up to the north, rides along the western Atlantic Ocean and eventually moves towards the mid Atlantic, maybe the New England region maybe even the Canadian Maritimes next weekend. This is going to change up a little bit. Really, if you live along the Caribbean this weekend, just keep an eye on it for those larger swells and any changes to the forecast thinking this weekend. But so far, it looks like it's going to avoid the Caribbean. Then going into next week, if you live along the northern U.S. East Coast, mid-Atlantic, New England, up into the Canadian Maritimes, also Bermuda, you need to watch it closely. Luckily here at home, Gulf of Mexico does stay quiet in the next seven to 10 days. Here at home, we actually have really nice weather on the way.